Hey everybody, today is Wednesday, January 27th, and I am so glad that you are here once again for a short time of reflection and of prayer. And as you can tell, this week may look a little different. So the reason I have my car here with the hood open, this, this past weekend, as I got into my car to make my way up to the church to record Sunday service, I pressed the button to start the car and... Mm. So I took a deep breath and I hit it again. And this time it was click, click, click. And all I could think was, great. I have so much I need to get done today. I don't have time for what just happened to me. I've got this to do and this to do. The service for tomorrow. Well, thankfully, Jeff was able to swing by and pick me up so that we could record everything in time. But anyway, when I finally got the car into the shop, I was grateful that it was just the battery that needed to be replaced and nothing else too extensive. What had happened, though, was that because my battery hadn't been changed in many years, it started to leak. And a massive amount of corrosion had formed and it just started to affect some of the connections to the battery itself. Now with many trips between Atlanta and South Carolina while I was in seminary, and now trips between here and South Carolina, it has been through a lot. Now as I drove it, I never knew that there was a problem underneath the hood. Everything seemed to be running just fine. I never took the time to check it. And so it leaked. And it leaked some more. And it got weaker. All without me knowing it. And then one day it got to be too much. And it couldn't function as it was supposed to. And in turn that affected everything around it. And so all of this got me thinking. I wonder if in some ways that we can live our lives going from one task to another, one obligation to the next, one to-do list to another. I wonder if we can do all that while not taking the time to check under our own hoods. I don't necessarily mean medically because I think most of us do that more often than not. But what I'm talking about is emotionally, mentally, spiritually, to take time to reflect. Because while from the outside we may look like we have everything together, while we may be able to get what we need to do done, while we meet our obligations, there may be a leak in our batteries, weakening us from the inside. You know, a blessing for you and for me is that God already knows what is going on under our hoods, in our hearts, in our minds, and in our souls. Listen to these words from Psalm 139 for proof. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, O Lord, you know it completely. And so friends, after hearing that, after hearing Psalm 139, at least the first few verses, it stands to reason that if God knows our inmost being, shouldn't we take the time to do the same? My prayer is that we will. Because all of us still have many miles to go on the road before us. Let us pray. O Lord, our God, 
as we open up our own hoods, as we sit in the quietness of our thoughts, we find that more often than not, our thoughts are far from quiet. We're wrestling with doubts and fears. We're looking for answers. We're hoping against hope. We are seeking strength. We are hungry for warm sunshine, for healed bodies, for rest from tears. Your word says the hungry will be filled. And so we ask you today for you to fill us. Fill us with the breath of life. Fill us with thankful hearts. Fill us with calmness, courage, and most of all, with the knowledge of your presence. God, we also know that there are so many that we love and that we know who are ill and in need of prayer. And so we ask, O oh God, that you would surround them with your strong and healing presence. Also, grant wisdom to those who need answers to difficult questions. Grant hope to those who despair and friendship to those who feel lonely. Most of all, O oh Lord God, may we know your love, your great love, which you have for each one of us. You know the hairs on our head you count each beat of our heart. You knit us together when we were being formed. You know our getting up and our lying down. You are familiar with all our ways. There is no place that we can hide from you. You were there at our beginning and you will be there with us through the end. May we not lose sight of your constant care. We look to you, O oh God, to be present in our communities and in the world. Continue to show us how we at St. Andrew can be part of your work in the world. Teach us how we can grow into faith and become more and more like Jesus. We also ask, O oh Lord, that you would bless the work of our hands. Bless all that we offer today. And now as our prayers are gathered together, both spoken and unspoken, we acknowledge that we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, whom we love and serve. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you again so much for being here with us on this Wednesday evening. We do hope that you will be back with us on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. for our Sunday worship service, which is available on our Facebook page and our YouTube page as well. So we hope we see you there. But in the meantime, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. See you soon, everybody.